One of the things that characterize a new beginning uh, oftentimes is what happens in the early days. Um, and that certainly will be the case um, in terms of this new transition we're moving to. So what I've done here uh, and what I want to talk to you about today is um, my plan for the first hundred days um, if I am elected mayor. And that, and that uh, much of what I do, much of what I've always done, as many of you know, is the business of assembling teams. Um, because in large measure, I mean, the work I've done in this community, my decision to run for mayor, is fundamentally inspired by the good people of this community, their passion and their commitment and their talents. And so what I want to do is talk about uh, the teams, uh, the initial teams that we will be uh, assembling, which is really, which is really uh, the beginning of how I will operate as mayor. I mean, it'll be, it will be collaborative. It'll be about engaging this community in beginning the process of turning this community around. That's what this is going to be about. That's how I'm going to do business. That's how we are going to walk down that road to a new prosperity. This whole process, this whole, this whole, um, this whole journey that we're going to take, it's going to be characterized both by fairness and by accountability. So within the first hundred days, what my commitment is, is to begin to engage the province of Nova Scotia and to begin to engage the premier of this province in, in, a, in, a, in a conversation and in, and in the development of a new understanding in terms of how we will be treated with respect to the issue of equalization and as well to begin to engage the province in a conversation and in a new and in a new in a new format in a new structure in terms of how Nova Scotia power will be taxed will be finally taxed by this municipality in a way that's fair and appropriate given the assets that are located here. In addition, in terms of the issue of accountability, one of the things, one of the things we're going to do within the first hundred days is, is we, will, we will do our first televised accountability session to the whole of this community. What we will do is we will present to this community an accounting within the hundred days of the progress we are making on the platform that we have laid out. In respect to the five, the five initiatives and the five teams we're going to establish, the first action team we're going to establish will be an action team that is focused on the harbor. And we will, we will ask that team, we will direct that team to address two issues. First of all, to begin to establish a framework for the municipality to enable it to begin negotiations with the federal government with respect to the transfer of the harbor bottom to municipal ownership. And secondly, to begin to look and develop a framework to enable the municipality to clearly, to clearly analyze where we are with re at this point with respect to our pursuit of a container terminal and, and, what, and what's, what are the next steps that need to be taken in respect to achieving that outcome. That will be the first action team. That will be their responsibility. That is what we will ask them to do. The second action team will be looking at other features of the economy. In particular, we will ask them to address two issues. First of all, we will ask them to provide us with a framework to establish the Community Investment Fund that will, that will provide us with the means as a community to begin to invest in small business startups and in business that are presently operating and that need to expand. And the goal we want to achieve, the outcome we're aspiring to, is to enable us as a community to invest in a minimum of five to 10 businesses every year. Mm -hmm. the, second, the second task that we're gonna ask them to, to, to focus on is the task of Reviewing, reviewing 
our municipality in terms of how the economic function is done and how the development function is done. And so, and looking at how do we, do we reframe that to enable us as a municipality to be the most proactive development municipality in Eastern Canada. That will be their second task.